Are you struggling with mealybugs in your garden? If you're a green thumb, you're likely familiar with these tiny, cotton-like pests. Mealybugs with their soft bodies and waxy white coating are a common sight in many gardens and greenhouses. They're not just an eyesore though, they also pose a significant threat to the health of your plants. These bugs feed on plant juices, robbing them of essential nutrients. As they feed, they excrete a sticky substance called honeydew, which can lead to the growth of sooty mold on your plants. Common signs of a mealybug infestation include wilting, yellowing leaves, and stunted growth. Not to mention a noticeable white cottony substance on the stems and leaves of your plants. But there's good news for all you plant lovers out there, you don't have to watch your beloved garden succumb to these pests. Well, fear not, as today we will learn how to rid your garden of these pests using a homemade organic pesticide. Before we start, gather these ingredients. So you're ready to wage war on those pesky mealybugs? Excellent. But first, let's talk about the weapons you'll need. Today, we're going to make a potent all-natural pesticide using just two main ingredients, neem oil and baking soda. Let's start with neem oil. This oil is extracted from the seeds of the neem tree, a plant native to the Indian subcontinent. It's been used for centuries in traditional agriculture due to its potent pest-fighting properties. The beauty of neem oil is that it's a broad-spectrum pesticide, meaning it's effective against a wide range of pests, not just mealybugs, from aphids to spider mites, ants to rats, this oil has got you covered. And the best part, it's completely organic and non-toxic to humans and pets. Now let's move on to our second ingredient, baking soda. You might be wondering, baking soda? Really? Yes, really. Baking soda or sodium bicarbonate is a powerful fungicide and insecticide. It disrupts the pH balance on the surface of pests, causing them to dry out and die. Plus, it's safe for your plants and won't leave any harmful residues behind. So, how much of these ingredients do you need? For every 1 liter of water, you'll need 20 milliliters of neem oil and 2 tablespoons of baking soda. Remember, consistency is key here. Too much neem oil can harm your plants and too much baking soda can cause salt buildup in the soil. So stick to these measurements and you'll be just fine. Lastly, you'll need a spray bottle. Any old spray bottle will do, as long as it's clean. This is what you'll use to apply the pesticide to your plants. Now that we have all our ingredients, we are ready to begin. Get ready, mealybugs. Your days are numbered. Now we will prepare our organic pesticide. It's a process that's more akin to baking than chemistry, really. You don't need a lab coat, but you do need precision and patience. A lot of patience. Our first step is to measure out the neem oil. We're looking for roughly two tablespoons. Neem oil is a fantastic organic pesticide because it disrupts the life cycle of pests at all stages, from egg to adult. Plus, it's biodegradable and non-toxic to pets, birds, fish, and even most beneficial insects. Next, we're going to add in one and a half tablespoons of baking soda. Baking soda is a versatile ingredient in our pesticide arsenal. It helps control fungal diseases, and it's also effective against insects. The sodium in baking soda is toxic to pests but it's completely safe for your plants. Now let's add about a quart of water to the mix. The water acts as a carrier, helping to spread the neem oil and baking soda evenly over your plants. It's crucial to use lukewarm water to help dissolve the oil and baking soda effectively. Give everything a good stir. We're aiming for a consistent, milky mixture. This might take a few minutes, but remember, patience is key. It's important that there are no clumps or undissolved particles. Once you've achieved a smooth consistency, let's move on to the final step. Pour your mixture into a spray bottle. This will make it easier to apply the pesticide to your plants. Before you start spraying though, make sure to give the bottle a good shake. This will ensure that the oil and baking soda are evenly distributed throughout the water. And voila, we have our homemade organic pesticide ready. Now we're ready to take the fight to those mealy bugs. Next, we will apply this pesticide to our infested plants. Now, you may be wondering how exactly to go about this. It's simpler than you might think. Start by giving your plants a good spray, ensuring that you cover all parts of the plant. This includes the undersides of the leaves, the stems, and any nooks and crannies where the mealy bugs might be hiding. The goal here is to ensure that the pesticide reaches every potential hiding spot. Now, let's talk about timing. The best time to apply your pesticide is in the early morning or late evening. This is when the temperature is cooler and the sun isn't as strong, which helps the pesticide to stick to the plants and not evaporate quickly. Frequency is also key in this process. A single application won't completely get rid of mealybugs. Instead, you should aim to spray your plants 
every five to seven days. This repetitive action interrupts the life cycle of the mealybugs and prevents them from rebounding. However, if you're dealing with a heavy infestation, you might need to take additional steps. In such cases, consider removing and disposing of the most infested parts of the plant. This can help to reduce the population of mealybugs and make your pesticide application more effective. Remember, patience is key when dealing with pests. You might not see results immediately, but don't let that discourage you. Keep up with your application schedule and monitor your plants closely. Remember, this is an organic solution, so it's safe for you and for the environment. However, it's still a good idea to wear gloves and protective eyewear while spraying to avoid any potential skin or eye irritation. With the correct application, you'll see a decrease in mealybugs in no time. While our homemade pesticide is safe, there are still some precautions we need to take. When handling this organic pesticide, even though it's made from natural ingredients, it's essential to keep it out of reach of children and pets. And always remember to wear gloves when applying it, just to avoid any skin irritation that might occur. Make sure to avoid contact with your eyes, as it can cause discomfort. In case of accidental ingestion, seek medical help immediately. It's always a good idea to store our homemade pesticide in a clearly labeled container to avoid any mix-ups. Now, let's shift gears and talk about some additional tips for preventing future infestations. Firstly, regular inspection of your plants is key. Mealybugs love to hide in the nooks and crannies of your plants, so make sure to check there often. If you spot any unusual white cottony substance, act fast. That's a sign of mealybugs. Secondly, don't overwater or over-fertilize your plants. Mealybugs are attracted to plants with high nitrogen levels and soft growth. So, keep your plants healthy but not overly lush. Thirdly, isolate any infested plants immediately to prevent the mealybugs from spreading to other plants. Lastly, encourage natural predators in your garden. Ladybugs, lacewings, and certain types of wasps are natural enemies of mealybugs. Having these beneficial insects in your garden can help keep the mealybug population under control. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. So keep these tips in mind and let's keep our gardens mealybug-free naturally. Let's quickly recap what we covered today. We embarked on the journey of creating a homemade organic pesticide to combat the pesky mealybugs. We started off by gathering our key ingredients, including neem oil and baking soda. Then, we moved on to prepare the pesticide, carefully blending the ingredients together to create a powerful yet organic solution. Once our pesticide was ready, we applied it to the affected areas. Remember, it's important to cover all the nooks and crannies where these bugs like to hide. Regular application is key to keep these pests at bay. We also discussed some additional tips and precautionary measures. Always use gloves while handling the pesticide and ensure that it is kept out of reach of children and pets. And there you have it, a simple and effective way to control mealybugs in your garden. Happy gardening!